HollywoodHollywood.com. Hey, Young Hollywood. Are you still on a high from the finale? I've been on a high for like the last eight months. It's pretty exhausting. I don't think I could ever get a big head about it, especially with all these guys. <laughs> They've been busting my chops since I got back. You've been able to go home at all? I did get a week, but I had to go to Ireland and do press there, which was awesome. I didn't even know they watched the show there, so it was very odd to get off the airplane and there was like press in the airport. It was insane when I went, especially, you know, I went home right at four, right before the big hometown thing, so they kind of already had a hometown like celebration set up, so I got home. We had like a parade, officially Jason Castro Day. There's a Saisha Mercado Day in my hometown. What are people's reactions to you when, when you're home or when you go out in public now? It's very scary. <laughs> I get so overwhelmed. But when you go to airports and things like that, right, and people just stop you all the time, and they just shove phones in your faces yeah. and stuff, and well, my... that's why I'm wearing a disguise. <laughs> I just get that you look a lot taller on TV, which makes no sense to me. Somebody came up to me the other day and was like, I get to go home and tell my family that I met you today. I was like... So I gotta ask you, what was it like to be the heartthrob of American Idol? Well, I soon gave up that crown when I grew this thing for these interviews today. I, I passed it on to D Cook, to DC. Heartthrob? Is that what they call them? <laughs> okay. You wouldn't understand. I wouldn't. After tour, what's next? Oh, what I want to do is just, you know, get the album going. I'm already working on that right now. He's so cute. He's playing us all songs. He's like, do you like this? And they're all amazing. <laughs> they're all great songs. So we're very excited about David's project. I'm working on a record and writing music and recording as we speak. We're going to be working on as many songs while I'm on the road. So as soon as I get off the road, it'll be too long until we have a single out. I'm just really focusing on writing some good music. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think if you have good songs, everything else falls into place. Last year at this time, did you think you would be going on a music tour? No. <laughs> no. I didn't even know I'd be auditioning. No, I was wondering how I was going to pay my rent. I was cleaning pools, trying to pay rent. I knew that it wasn't in my hands, you know? It's God's hands and America's hands and sometimes in the judge's hands, sadly. What advice do you have for future contestants? Honestly, I really, truly believe just be yourself. Don't go in there and try to, like, put on an act or try to impress the judges with the songs. You know, you got to choose songs that really mean something to you each week. Learn how to sleep in two-hour increments. Get as much sleep as possible, stay healthy, and don't get online and read the junk. Well, I would say be undeniable. That's what I was told, and I think that's really what you got to be. I learned that when you're confident in yourself, they see that. Stay true to yourself. That's, I think, my number one piece of advice. From a four-time trier, four-time, awesome. don't give up. Yeah. Don't ever give up. Thank you guys so and much. don't grow a mustache like Michael Johns.